Hello team and welcome back to another Line War cast. It is a 1v1 today between Savvy Professor in blue and Alpha in red. Pretty much a entirely land map. There is a trade route in this right hand body of water. We'll see if that comes into play. Both players are going to spawn in the north part of the map. Savvy Professor in the top right. Alpha a little bit southwest of that. Immediate town for Savvy. There's no way that Alpha could build a town, or I suppose Alpha could build this town right on the water here. But his three factories start from both players. Alpha will have the tanks a little bit quicker, or the, rather the third quank, uh, third, third quank, the third tank a little bit quicker, more quickly than Savvy because this third factory for Blue is delayed in favor of the town. Blue will have an eco advantage. Red will have a slight tank advantage at the beginning of the game. Commandos from blue already getting set up on this command to destroy the refinery. Both players' refineries are going to be relatively close to each other. Because pres presumably blue takes one of these as the first refineries. Savvy now knows that there are at least two tanks on the way. Three factory tank is a very popular opener it seems like lately. So maybe blue will already suspect that alpha has gone for three factories. And Alpha's vision really just sees this this one refinery showing up. So for Red, it could be uh, airplanes potentially as an op opener out of blue. Probably to be on the safe side, expecting tanks would make more sense. This little gap between the mountain ranges is going to be very important because most likely this is where the tanks are going to do most of their transit so they don't have to go through the mountain range and suffer that huge movement penalty. And both players will have one barracks here. Infantry for Alpha, Commandos for Savvy. And with three tanks, it's very probably not likely, but the, the extra tank, you can really turn that into a huge advantage. And there is a chance that Red could just win here. Now that there's infantry standing in front of the refinery, it's obviously much more difficult. To, this is a good defense from Blue. But, and great micro from Savvy there to somehow take out a red tank and not lose any of those blue tanks. But in a 3v2, I mean, maybe it's just me. When I play, sometimes I'll have two tanks, my opponent will have three, and then I will lose both my tanks. And then the one or maybe even two tanks that my opponent has just drive on the refinery, destroy it, and then it's very difficult to defend after that if you've expended your first 25 energy. Both players have now lost one tank. It is Sam's on the way for Savvy out of the third factory. Alpha continues to build tanks after already building Sam. It'll be interesting to see if Savvy just builds one ta one Sam and then stops. As well, I suspect that Alpha stopped just because this scout now shows that there's three factories, which kind of makes it so that there's no real way you could open up three factories and an airport. Just financially, it doesn't really make sense. This is at least my read on why there's no more Sams for red. And why there's a chance that there won't be any more Sams for blue. Savvy hasn't seen the third factory, to be fair. And a little bit of a tense moment for blue with the, this many tanks and infantry kind of staying close to the gas. But because there's enough infantry at home, blue will likely be fine. Building tanks now after this first Sam, which parks itself out by the refinery. It's a very comforting feeling to have at least one Sam with you at all times. At least somewhere on the map. Barracks in this forest for Savvy. Alpha's going to try to make a dash for the refinery. Certainly won't be able to stay here and, and just like target the building. I say that now, if the three tanks were able to kill this, this would be a huge deal. And maybe their, their DPS is just enough to do this, but I don't think that Red is going to be able to take this out. And losing those three tanks is relatively expensive. Well, it's very expensive, but now it means that there's five blue tanks. There's only three red tanks. Savvy's going to hit that point where there's enough tanks that there's now a need for a second refinery from blue. 
And I don't believe that this is a refinery that Savvy can actually take. This is this territory probably belongs to and will belong to Alpha. A little bit of a base trade with the the tanks here. Commandos and infantry at home for uh, red or pardon me for blue to defend. But there's nothing right now for Alpha. Two tanks will pop relatively quick, but one of the red factories is going to be destroyed. This one with the commando is not. The commando's taken out. And the best possible thing that could happen for Alpha here is that this refining for blue gets destroyed. Because it would at least stop these tanks from moving. It won't stop them from destroying probably this barracks now. Since this is a target command on the building, these two tanks are going to finish it off. But these three tanks can't move anymore. And we'll take that extra damage from the red tanks now that those black plumes of smoke are going. And most importantly, it allows the offensive tanks for Alpha to now take out one of the factories from blue. Very likely. Two commandos and three infantry are going to rush over. The commandos won't be able to be seen. The tanks for red won't have the vision to actually detect this. But those red tanks very likely going to destroy that factory. I suppose if these if these units are right in time, no, there's a target command from Alpha, which is really good. I think that's going to finish it off. This barracks in the forest is huge for Savvy. There's three infantry that already got by, but those can be cleaned up pretty quickly. It's more commandos from blue out of this, this forest, and we have to really see how far Alpha's got to left-hand side. And it would be enormous if Red could just re destroy this refinery again. Savvy does not have this bottom right gas, the territory, controlled quite yet. These three tanks are going to do a lot of damage. They're likely going to be able to destroy the refinery again. 480 income for Red. 495 from Blue. And that's that power of the town. Alpha now has enough here to be able to destroy all these buildings, I believe. There's some artillery pieces out for Savvy, which is a good call because there is no refinery yet anymore. Very unlikely Blue's going to be able to build another refinery at this location anyway. So just building artillery so they can, you know, move. They're not energy-consuming units. That's a big deal. Four red tanks from Alpha are going to destroy the town. This barracks is important in the top left for Savvy. And slowly, Blue will be able to at least contest all this territory that Alpha has taken. If it's continued artillery production out of Blue's base, then Savvy might be able to hold this position, just on the power of that many artillery pieces, like, in general. And Blue's taken pretty much the right-hand side of the map. It'll be very difficult for Alpha to actually contest this. And now that Red's getting a steady tank count, same thing applies that Alpha's going to need to find a refinery to build a second refinery if it's going to be continued tanks out of these factories. Now that the town is gone, it's 480 income for blue and 460 for red. So Alpha's still with a little bit of an advantage. The good thing for Alpha right now is that none of these units for blue can really move away from these buildings. If they do, then these three tanks will be able to just swoop in and destroy some of these producers. Big fan of this third barracks from Alpha that will also be able to help cap through here. I have no idea how this one infantry got here, but it did. And this is the replacement refinery for Savvy in the mountains. It, the fact that it's in the mountains is going to make it difficult for Alpha to destroy because it's heavy tanks from Red. There's no airplanes. The tanks for Red are going to have to go through an entire mountain range to get to this refinery. Since Savvy has this barracks up by the mountains to the north, it's unlikely that these Red infantry are going to be able to destroy that refinery by themselves. And when the refinery finishes, Savvy's going to have two tanks and is starting to build two more tanks in anticipation of that refinery finishing.
The red tanks are spreading out a little bit. Three tanks are needed to actually detect a commando. So potentially if Savvy gets lucky, some commandos would be able to like pick up these random little tanks scattered throughout the the forest and in the fields. They're going to link up now, though. This, this barracks is certainly in trouble. There's no way that Alpha sees it quite yet, but there's probably going to be enough units here to actually see this in a second. The line where music makes it feel like Alpha is going to see that barracks in a second. Refineries finished at this point for Savvy. The plan is to send those two tanks around to try to get to the refinery. Great job by Alpha to have some infantry posted up here. And this is the power of building in forests. Is that this building for blue is still not detected. Even though there's now two tanks relatively close to it. In fact, I think this one tank could even bump into the barracks and it still won't see it. I mean, it practically is. There we go. Okay, and I think it's just because there's actually three tanks here now. That together have the vision. We do see this airport for Alpha. Not sure what the, the plane is going to be. It could be helicopters, strikers, bombers. Unlikely that it's interceptors. It could be transport planes as well if some of these red barracks started making commandos. Savvy's army is pushing down towards this forest to meet all of these tanks. This one blue t or these two blue tanks rather might take out that factory. Alpha now sees this barracks, doesn't see the refinery. Which must indicate that this barracks actually is not in the mountain exactly. Which might, like, probably is calculated from Savvy just to put the barracks down and get it producing units as quick as possible. It would be an enormous pickup for blue if they're able to destroy this airport. And it's perfect timing because the red tanks don't quite have enough energy. They've been running around after these two blue tanks. Second refinery for Savvy now, who's got the two factories that are left building exclusively tanks. And this is an intense moment. This is a big deal. It is helicopters from Alpha, which over time would be able to destroy that mountain refinery that Savvy has. Then big pickup from Blue. Still unclear where the second refinery for Alpha is going to be. It's not like there's a very obvious and easy refinery to take here if you're red. And income wise, 600 for red. 530 for blue. We can see the plans. It's great in line where replays that you can just look at all the commands that are going on to get an idea of what each player is thinking. Savvy is going to push towards Alpha's base and try to backstab with these two tanks. There are two commandos here as well in the south. There's a lot of tanks from Alpha, and Alpha, if Alpha magically had enough energy, like two, probably even at this point, three refineries, these tanks could do all sorts of stuff. They could just like rip up along the right-hand side and try to destroy this blue refinery. They could get more active over here on the right-hand side. It's really just the limiting factor is the refinery. Second refinery now done for, for Alpha, which is huge. Uh, two tanks for Alpha, really good sprint towards the refinery. Great reaction time from Savvy to defend this. It is only two barracks here for Savvy, and it's four barracks for Alpha. Of course, Savvy has that third barracks on the left-hand side up in the mountains, but that's not really as much of a factor in these like toe-to-toe -to -toe fights that are happening. And with this production, you know, like, red has more production buildings than blue does here. So over time, Alpha might be able to build up enough of force to go for a really big push. 
And it's now left that there's just one barracks left for Alpha here. Or pardon me, for Savvy. And this is what's about to happen. Alpha is gonna start going for the push. I think it is gonna be very successful if these tanks are able to do what this this next command is, get on top of the refinery. Two barracks on the left hand side for Alpha close to the to the refinery. If we take a zoom out. It's actually really good, I think, that Savvy put down this barracks in the south. That's a lot of eco down there. Six ten for red. Six thirty for blue. Savvy is making a little bit more per minute. And it's interesting to see what... Okay, so this is the plan. Savvy's going to build an airport. Which I do like. Because I was going to say, I don't know what the what the plan for blue could be at this point. Potentially just rebuilding a town, but this push is really scary. So maybe more production. Airport makes a lot of sense. The other thing an airport does is it forces... Alpha to build some amount of SAMs. I'm very surprised that these red tanks aren't just winning this fight. I thought that there was just enough red tanks that they would just take this easily. But I, I guess three blue tanks and this much infantry and artillery and some SAMs is enough. And Alpha has to back up. There's still plenty of more units that Alpha could push at this. And this is the power of, of these commandos. Alpha can't see these, can only hear them. And it really looks like exclusively uh, commandos out of this one barracks. Which might prompt Alpha to only start building commandos out of at least one of the barracks. Which is potentially what's happening here. Red has not seen this airport in the corner. It's up to Savvy if, if, like, either sending out the first helicopter as soon as it's done or waiting to get a bunch of helicopters. We'll see what Blue decides to do. Because there's still no sign of any red SAMs, and there shouldn't be. There's no reason why Alpha would be building SAMs at this point, having not seen an airport. Seeing continued tank production from Savvy. Tanks are also the most expensive factory unit. And if I'm wrong about that, get in the comments because I need to be corrected on that. That's what I think. My understanding. So it is just the, f the first helicopter right away. Top down, this is what we're looking at. Probably relatively similar number of territories that have actually been capped for both players. 670 income for red. 710 for blue. We will likely see some SAMs out of these two factories now that, now that the helicopters have shown themselves. It is your guess what happens here. Blue could lose the refinery. Blue could not lose the refinery. The helicopter, I think, is the, a big factor here. The amount of damage it did with those... Those missiles is enormous. Good movement from blo both players, really, I think. And Savvy is going to lose both these tanks. And now there's six artillery pieces that are going to be able to destroy the refinery. The helicopter is nice, but there's probably there'd probably need to be at least five helicopters to be able to handle this many red units. The power of the four barracks with how many infantry red is able to show up with here and now th th at this point alpha just needs to find as much damage as possible there's a third helicopter on the way these two are working through their artillery pieces and there's a slight there's a chance that savvy could hold this i think it's not a huge chance the refinery is certainly going to go down. When I say hold this, I mean at least leave one of these blue buildings. Because some of these blue buildings are going to fall. Here's this army in the south of just infantry and commandos for Alpha that are going to start pushing down here. It's probably not going to be a, a very welcome 
scene to see that there's a lot of blue territory already. And here comes the first Sam for, or I guess there's one Sam already completed, second Sam on the way. And now Alpha has replaced Savvy's professor in this forest with a barracks of their own. Very interesting game, and still very close. 810 income for Savvy, 700 for Alpha, who is doing a great job to destroy a lot of these buildings for Savvy. But helicopter count for blue is, is still growing. And I think it's kind of disappointing. I, there was another build, building that was destroyed here from Alpha earlier with the tanks, but it's really just a refinery in that building. Now that there's three helicopters, they're not going to be able to find much damage the next time they come back, or rather they're going to have to fight two Sams and then do damage to the ground army. This is huge from Alpha. This refinery very likely will go down unless this blue commando pops out of the barracks and can 1v2 these red units. And here comes Alpha's airport being rebuilt. Pretty big pickup from Savvy here. Same thing applies to the refinery in the north unless this red commando pops out of the barracks and can defend the building. Alpha is going to lose that. And the tanks for blue are doing what the, a major function of the tanks are at this point of the game, which is trying to jump on top of the Sams and destroy them, or at least push them back so that the blue helicopters can get in here and do the damage. And in this case, Savvy is super successful, will likely get the second Sam, microing the tanks. First helicopter on the way for Alpha, so it is helicopters from Red again. Great pickup from Alpha to destroy this barracks. It, it, it will very likely be destroyed. And top down. Super interesting because it's like, especially on the left or right hand side of the map, these two barracks for Savvy are going to be a big deal. And whether Blue can win on the right hand side of the map, there's a lot of eco over there. And good pickup from Blue on this barracks. First helicopter in the air for red now. This is where the replacement refinery for Savvy is. And that is the only refinery on the map now for blue. Who lost the barracks in the bottom. I guess I need to pay more attention to this. This, is, this was a very large army for red. And two barracks on the left hand side that may or may not survive. In a straight-up fight, these four commandos are going to beat those two commandos and two infantry for red. And in the same way that earlier, these blue helicopters force Sams out of the red factories, which means less tanks and less artillery pieces, now Savvy has to invest some production time and money into Sams themselves. Because this helicopter count for red will just grow. So great play from Blue to send the helicopters over here on this side, I think. There's no Sams over here. It will allow the barracks to stay alive. I said that this barracks would die, and it, it clearly would have if the helicopters weren't here. Savvy going for a push and will very likely not be successful. There's five tanks, six tanks rather, for Blue, which is a lot. But there's a decent number of commandos and infantry Paired with the helicopters, Alpha is likely going to be fine there. And this is a big deal. That the two commandos are able to destroy those two barracks. Huge win for Savvy if they can destroy these two barracks in the refinery here. And at this point, Blue probably has the eco advantage. 860 for red, 910 for blue. So still not an enormous eco advantage. But an eco advantage, not, nevertheless. 
It's an interesting game. It's just like random little commandos taking out a huge build, like barracks all over the place and down here. I mean, this was a fight that was just four units. So a lot of close calls for both players. So the barracks does go down. The helicopters couldn't defend it in time. And Savvy's just going to rebuild it in the top left. No possible way that Alpha can defend this at this point. Both the refinery and the barracks will fall. There is an interceptor now for Alpha, which will go over here. And might take out a helicopter. It will spot the commandos, but the commandos will be able to destroy the refinery, certainly before the interceptor gets there. A lot of tanks for blue. And Savvy now has two refineries. Now that there's 60 total energy that can be held. One refinery now for Alpha. Interceptor doesn't quite get the helicopter. It might on the second pass. And there it goes. This is very big. It's interesting. So Alpha has a barracks down here and will certainly take the south without any trouble. It's the left-hand side of the map which might be a problem because there's there's a lot of blue units that are able to push down the left side of the map and just take back all this territory that red has taken. It kind of forces Alpha to send some units up to the top left to deal with that, but to also deal with this enormous push from Savvy. Savvy, this is Blue's vision, so the whole situation is pretty understood for Blue. And the plan is to push through this little pass. Great concave from red. And the three tanks from Alpha are probably going to be the difference here. Two more Sams from Alpha, probably fearing that these helicopters are going to show up. And they are. This is the plan. For Savvy. But in general, red is, is stuffing this. And this, I feel like this was very expensive for blue. This is a lot of tanks that are going down. Two more barracks from Alpha in this position. I think this is a very good spot to build these. It is two barracks versus three barracks for blue. So still a tough fight for Alpha on the left-hand side of the map. The helicopters are going to be able to destroy at least one of the tanks here before these red SAMs show up. Which might give these three blue tanks an opening to now get on top of these SAMs. And apologies, obviously the helicopters didn't get one of the tanks, but they've heavily damaged one of them. Which will make that one... It'll, t it's, it'll be tough for that one to actually get in the fight. It'll die pretty quick. I can't imagine the APM and multitasking from both players. Red refinery is definitely going down. And this is the only refinery for Alpha, so all the red tanks and all the red planes are going to stop moving as soon as this happens. Which is an enormous deal, that's that beep beep signifying that there's low energy. Savvy's got a barracks on the left hand side. It's now a huge question if Alpha can win in the top left. Factory from Savvy in the total top left of the map. And if Alpha can kind of withstand this period where there's no energy. And then Blue's going to make the most of it by running the tanks around. Sniping the airport. Unfortunately for these two red SAMs in the mountain range, the helicopters are taking the perfect line to skip them. Then destroy that barracks. And eco-wise, 1030 for blue. 810 for red. Savvy definitely pulling ahead on the eco. 
and expanding with more barracks on the bottom left. I think it's a very good call. On the right hand side of the map, Savvy did win this. Uh, clearly there was a lot of action <laughs> that we could have capped or seen on the right hand side. But blue does win it. The power of having those production facilities is huge. Just over time, like unless it, as red, if you're trying to defend the right hand side, if you don't destroy these two buildings, I know there's three here now, it's just blue will just generate way more units over time. It's just going to be a very, very difficult fight to take the longer it goes on. It, it feels like that's a common theme in line war battles and like guessing how it's going to go. It's like who has more buildings in that spot? It's an enormous part of it. In my humble opinion. This is really bad for Alpha because Alpha has to keep a bunch of these units here to not lose the starting base. But then also find ways to actually win in the bottom left for one thing. And then also the top left. Clearly the far right is totally lost. So that makes this part of the map even more important for red. There's no eco quite yet. For blue or for either player for that matter. It's been pretty light on the the towns and industries that both players have decided to make. But four barracks definitely beats one barracks. So this is looking real good for blue at the moment. Here comes a little bit of a probably an optimistic push from blue to go into the heart of the base here. We'll lose four tanks because of it, but blue has such an eco advantage. That this isn't the end of the world. 800 income for red. 1170 for blue. Three commandos will likely destroy this refinery from red. It's doesn't. It's not like it really matters at this point because there's only one energy consuming unit for alpha on the map now. It's just this one tank. Which is a huge problem because the blue tanks will just be able to destroy all this red artillery relatively easily. This is important for Alpha to set up this refinery, but there's a lot of blue production on the left hand side of the map, including these four barracks, which could pressure this refinery from the south. And I think the tanks can just take this. If they do what they're doing, which is just kind of bouncing in and around, running around the base, picking off a building or two. There's still three helicopters on the airport for Savvy behind all of this action. One barracks seen, the refinery going up is also detected. And now these four barracks for blue are online. And pumping out commandos. And here comes the industry now for Savvy. Which will further grow that eco lead. 1240 for blue. 820 from red. Wild game from both players. Well played. All those little jump-ins from commandos and a gazillion different fronts that, I mean, even as, a, like, casting it couldn't keep up, right? I mean, there's a whole campaign in the south that happened on the right-hand side that wasn't really seen. And there's only one more, or rather, there's three more Sams here. For Alpha, but this many helicopters will just be able to take them and win in the straight up fight. First two Sams are dealt with. The next two Sams are also in trouble. And now the next time the helicopters show up, they would just destroy all the buildings. This is a lot of blue commandos. 
and a lot of eco being built behind all this. Good game. Well played. Let's look at some graphs. Gotta see the graphs on this one. And like, I feel like I always say when looking at these graphs, it was very close until it wasn't. That's line war. Let's see the energy. Well played. GG, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Twitch.tv slash soda, soda quackers, part of me. If you want to watch some games, hang out, say hello. Check out the line where Discord to learn more about the game. Find matches. Hope you're all doing well Have and have a wonderful night, day, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever it is. Peace. Uh.